What's up guys? Stanley here with Two Wheel Therapy. Um, I was, I've been, had a problem with my uh, my rear brakes on my 2002 Harley Davidson V-Rod. Um, it's just not, there's no pressure there. It's not bleeding at all. So um, I asked uh, some people on the V-Rod forum, Facebook group, um, they recommended to rebuild or replace the uh, the master cylinder. I tried to. I never did it before. Um, whenever there's something that I've never done before, I try to look for YouTube videos to you know get some help. See if there's problems that people run into. You know solutions. What they find to those problems, stuff like that. And I tried to look, and I did not see any. I thought I'd take a shot at making a video for this. So maybe help somebody else out and show some problems that I run into, stuff like that. I'm not a professional mechanic, so I just try to do this stuff by myself, save money and learn new things. So hopefully this helps somebody else out with whatever problems I run into and how I fix it, stuff like that. So um, I don't know how in depth I'm gonna do this repair, but uh, I'll try to show the, the main things, you know, problems, stuff like that. All right, so let's get into it. I got some tools already lined up that I think I need, and uh, I'll show a list of what I use. So just right now off the bat, I got a little thing here to kneel on. Um, sort of, I had to take off this uh, side reservoir cover and uh, master cylinder reservoir is right here. The master cylinder comes down, and as you can see, there's no nothing on the no pressure on the brake pedal so i'm going to attempt to take this apart take this reservoir cap off oh careful not to drop anything, of course. I'm gonna take the rubber boot off with it. Just gonna wrap it with a clean towel so that no dirt gets on it. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to take out this fluid. See if this works again. So it worked pretty good. Try to take this off now. Has a hose clamp here. All right, got the reservoir off. Mm. So this is uh, seven sixteenths. And a half inch. All right, I think I got that loose. All right, got a little set of needle nose. Try to pull this pin out.
you know what's gonna happen, right guys? What's gonna happen is either I'm gonna break it getting it out or I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna whack my fingers into the front of the bike. That's what's gonna happen. You know what? Really need the one. Got it out. It's not in the best shape. All right, guys, I'm kind of having trouble getting this pin out because I don't want to pry too much up against the radiator. And it's kind of tight in there right now, the pin, for some reason. What I'm going to try to do is take all this stuff off the bottom again and see if I'm able to do that somehow. Using a 3 8 uh, 12 point wrench right now and there is some fluid coming out so I want to be careful of course not to get this stuff on the bike hopefully this comes all the way out Seems like it is coming out. Okay. Got it. Oh, yep. Some fluid coming out. Let me see. Seems like maybe now. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Got that. Not off. The assembly's still not going all the way through. But let me see. Oh. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um. It's still not going through because of this pin, but maybe now that it's loose, I can get See, I don't really like prying on the radiator here Oh, okay. Well, you can't see the you can't see the thing poking out the back here, but this the pin was kind of poking out the back. So I used the channel locks. I put one one uh one side one side of the channel locks on the back of the pin and the other side of the channel locks on the front of on the front of the thing right here you can see where the damage is I know it kind of sucks but uh, there was a little damage there already so I think that's how I got it out once before so now that it's sticking out hopefully I can pry it the rest of the way out I got it out. Now, pedal will fall, and this should come all the way out. And I'll just leave the pedal hanging there for now. All right, so I'll take this off. That's the rod end that the pin goes through. Got that off. Now I gotta take this retaining clip off. This, uh, I don't know exactly what it's called, but this big washer, the dust boot. And I should be able to get to the inside of that uh, cartridge that I have to replace. All right guys, so I got the part off. The cartridge right here, I have to compress this down, take off the snap ring, get to the cartridge in there, 
And this is the part that I got from, from Harley Davidson. It's already got the seals on it. <clears throat> and the part number is 42382-87E. So I'm gonna push this down. First, let me get the snap rings set there. And then once I'm set, I wanna push. Oh, almost had it. This thing's. Trying not to catch my fingers. Push down. Oh, come on. Okay. Got it off. And then this large washer, which was this way, flat. It's got like a round edge and a flat edge. The flat edge goes down. And then you got the dust boot here. And the spring. Uh, I did ask if there was anything else I should replace besides this rebuild kit. And the guy said usually that's all you have to do so hopefully this spring is still good uh, this will not come out because there is another another retaining ring in there I gotta get that out This one out. Uh, this one actually, I have to switch this. I need it to go the other way. I believe that's right. Let's see. Yeah, so now I gotta compress it in. Trying, of course, not to bend the o ring too much and damage it. Got it out. That goes underneath the spring. And there's the other piston. Huh. Okay, so that just sits in there. Alright. Got to get this other one off. Push down on it like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Ugh. Hopefully that's why it wasn't working. Maybe some of these holes and stuff are clogged up or something. Pretty good. Fluid's coming out and stuff. I can feel the air blowing through, so it shouldn't be clogged. Now, the only thing is, 
this has a notch in it. So that notch has to line up with that. And then we just have to put some new brake fluid on this to help the seals go in. Dot five brake fluid. Some a little bit under this cap. This in there. Bam, that's it, it's in there. Let's see if I can get this one back on. You hear that snap in there? So it's got a new, a new, uh, snap ring or retaining ring in there so I gotta get that out I don't know why they they shouldn't put it in there they should just put it in because now you gotta now you gotta bend it or whatever to get it out Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Why? <sighs> oh, God. So, <clears throat> like this one came with a, another retaining ring in here. And when I took it out, this spring and this other cartridge were in there, and it kind of just popped all apart which I didn't know was gonna happen because when I took this retaining ring out nothing happened and I'm assuming that's because that's why the rear master cylinder or the rear brakes weren't working because this piston is probably stuck down in there this this part and the spring are probably stuck down in there and it's not working the way it should so when I took that ring off, nothing popped out, so I didn't think this one would, but it did. And I think that's it. I hope this works, man. I think that's it. This is the old one. 
I don't know if you can see, but down, there's another, this part of the cartridge, the spring, and this other part of the cartridge with the seals is inside here, inside here. And I believe this one was not going all the way. Like I, uh, you saw in the video when I took this one apart, I took that snap ring off and the whole thing exploded. The spring pushed this out <clears throat> and I had to put everything back together. Uh, and this one, when I took the retaining ring out, nothing. So that's why that one surprised me. Uh, so I put this one back together. And I believe that's why this one's not working. Because the piece inside is not moving. It's It, it moves down, but it doesn't come up all the way. So uh, hopefully this will fix my problem. Uh, I got this together. And all I got to do is put it back on the bike. All right, guys some sandpaper to this pin so hopefully it goes in and out a little smoother put this back into my and this was basically almost all the way down uh, and that's because that's gonna change the height of your pedal a little bit so you kind of want it in the same spot that it was all right let's get this pedal back up and see if we can all right all right there Got it. That might be both of them in there. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave it just like that. Wow, look at that. Already, even without fluid, it's returning. Get this back on the bottom. Clamp back on here, hose clamp. Well, I'm sure this video is how to bleed the brakes out there, so I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to cut to that part. Alright guys, so I bled the brakes. Uh, I think it's good. It feels like, like there's pressure here now. So the only thing to do is I'm putting this reservoir cover back on um, the level looks pretty good right now put this reservoir cover back on and take it for a little ride test ride
off. <clears throat> the brakes did work. I rode around and I didn't use the front brake at all. When I came down here, I had my hand up and just used the rear brake and they're working. So my first time doing this, I just, I, you know, made some printouts. Like I said, there was no video on YouTube. So I did some printouts from the V-Rod uh, repair manual. I got the breakdown list from Harley, even though I already had one from the manual. Um, I didn't really use any special tools. I mean, I didn't even have this, the right size of this big nut on the bottom. I don't even know what size it is. I just used the big adjustable. bleeding the brakes I used this thing little pump from Harbor Freight uh, don't really need it but it kind of I guess helps get some of the air bubbles out a little faster and uh, that's it man I just got to put this side cover back on and probably gonna go for another ride uh, thanks for tuning in I hope this video helps someone else uh, maybe if you need to do it on your v-rod or maybe a, uh, the guy at Harley said that you know this is similar to other probably soft tails or I don't know other Harleys it's probably pretty much the same so hopefully you know this might help somebody else out whether it's a v-rod or not uh, thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you on the next one peace